Hi, I'm Tracy and I'm here at Chapman Manufacturing and I've been asked to talk a little bit about our tools. You might recognize me from um, a video we did with Jay Leno. Jay Leno is a fan of our tools. He invited us out to his garage about four years ago, um, videotaped talking about our tools. And we know that he likes to, do, to talk about old cars and we like to talk about old tools, spe specifically our old tools. You can look at our video, we still have it on our website at chapmanmfg.com. Our company started in 1936 in Durham, Connecticut, and it started making little kits in old eyeglass cases. This is a metal eyeglass place, case with like velour flocking on the inside, and here's what the bits look like. Some of the ratchets, not all of the ratchets, but some of the ratchets have a flame treatment or flame heat treated um, I think they call it rainbow treating effect. Some don't, some are just silver. So that's one sample. And we also have a sample in um, brown. I've also heard that there may be one in maroon, but I've not seen one. So these are about 1936 into um, maybe the late 40s or very early 50s. Then we went into a metal case that has a leatherette covering, and this is the one that we often get uh, um, photos of where people find them in their grandfather's garage or they inherited their father's toolkit. Um, they find something in a military shop uh, and they typically look like this. This is uh, a, a case that happens to have a plastic insert. I've also seen them with a foam rubber insert or like a sponge insert as well. This is actually what the kiss kit originally looked like. This one has some age to it. This one happens to be a Mar Mar Marlin firearm kit. We used to make a special kit for them. I think that they either gave or sold them away um, with their firearms. Unfortunately, we don't have the original contents. And then this is one of the cases that was one of our first hard case kits. This is what this looked like. And it's the kit 1000. This is what it looks like inside. This is what the old fashioned advertisement looked like for that kit. We also introduced a soft pack kit, which is a smaller kit. It had bits, it's kind of stiff and it had a ratchet pocket right there. So there'd be a ratchet inside for this. And sometimes people just see the old fashioned box and that's what the, one of the boxes would have looked like. We used this case until that company went out of business. What I understand, that company went out of business in the late 1980s. And we went to a blow molded hard case kit. This one is often um, found out there too. You can tell this kit different from our current kit in two ways. One, you'll notice that there's not a place for the flag um, label. Underneath this label is a raised area, the same shape of this label. You can see that there's nothing there. There are different labels to identify the kit, so that, that doesn't indicate, but the, the lack of a raised area here does indicate that that would be one of our earlier yellow cases. Also, if you look inside, you'll see that there's a space in between the holes where we've added some more bits. So um, the older one has, has a space with their annual flag. We still use this case today. This is 2013 and we're still using this case today. But last year, we introduced the Master Kit case. It's a little bit bigger, not a lot, but it's a little bit bigger, but it has everything we make inside of it. Uh, this way we have much more flexibility for the, the, to provide the kits that people want. You can have all seven racks, like in the master case, or you can have six or four. Uh, we have one kit that has uh, racks plus a space for our little pocket pack that goes inside. Uh, so there's a, a, this case has a lot of flexibility and it doesn't take much room. This is called our master case and it was introduced in 2013. You can find uh, pictures, a little bit more information, some other items that we don't have, old advertisement copies. 
um, a little bit more history, like we went on the Nautilus. Uh, we found a receipt from 1953 uh, for a purchase for the Nautilus, so we went under the, the North Pole, South Pole, with the Nautilus. Uh, the Nautilus is, in, is a museum today in Groton, Connecticut. Um, we also have some old interesting advertisement on our website, and that's www.chapmanmfg.com. Thank you. Goodbye for now.